Uh, breaking news, Iran firing missiles, hitting two Iraqi bases with American troops. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Wickersham. I'm Erica Bryant. This is still a developing situation, but here's what we can tell you so far. More than a dozen missiles have been fired, hitting Erbil and Al-Assad military bases. A U.S. official says that there are very, very few, if any, casualties from the attack. Now, in the past 20 minutes, the president sent out this tweet saying, quote, all is well. He says we have the most powerful and well-equipped military anywhere in the world by far. And he plans to make a statement on camera tomorrow morning. Our Glenn Counts is here with us now to walk us through what we know and what this means for troops that are at Fort Bragg tonight. Well, Scott, those troops are, in effect, American firemen. They are trained to deploy anywhere in the world with 18 hours notice. So you are right. The first 650 arrived in Iraq last week, then more over the weekend, and the final contingent will arrive this week. All totaled, some 3,500 troops will be shoring up security at bases and install installations like Al-Assad Air Base, which is one of the largest in the world. The Pentagon confirms that base was hit by several ballistic missiles that were fired by Iran. Here is some cell phone video acquired by CNN of the moment those missiles hit. You may have noticed the sound from those explosions. Missiles carry a much larger payload than rockets and can do a lot more damage. Reportedly, there are casualties among Iraqi troops. So far, no reports of injuries among American forces, including those who just arrived from Fort Bragg. The president will address the nation tomorrow morning, but earlier today, he warned the Iranians not to respond to the American strike that took out General Soleimani. I will say this. If Iran does anything that they shouldn't be doing, they're going to be suffering the consequences, and very strongly. We know that President Trump has been consulting with his national security team. So far, there has not been an American response. Scott, Erica. Thank you, Glenn. The North Carolina governor is warning people to pay attention to phishing emails, ransomware, and other cyber threats. And he thinks the rising tensions with Iran will create more of those threats. This weekend, the Department of Homeland Security sent out a warning to people. Now Governor Roy Cooper is asking residents to pay attention and don't click on suspicious links or emails because of tensions in Iran. He says businesses and government agencies are now at greater risk because of what's happening in the Middle East. Action 9 says there are a couple of things you can do to not be a victim, be suspicious of basically any email, email you get, period. Resist the temptation to click on links, and if you think there's a chance it's legit, contact the sender directly outside of the email to see if this is a scam. Well, Channel 9 will continue to run, monitor the Iranian attack on American forces tonight on the news app, WSOC app, and of course bring you President Trump's statement if he does make one tomorrow morning.